Here's a before, here's an after, and that's the easiest way how to do that in dark table. So let's open up the color equalizer module because that's what we're going to use. Now to save ourselves a lot of time, I already created some masks and that has to do with the fact that we've got lights here that I don't want to change. We've got this woman over here that we don't want to change. So the best way when you have something like this is using a brush tool because that will allow you to just paint over everything you want to edit and keep out everything you don't want to edit. Right, so now that we've got our mask, we need to determine where the colors are in this graph. So we've got a color picker for that. Now, if you just click it, you see that we get this point and that shows us here where the colors are in the graph. But if we hold control and we click this point, we see that we can now select an area which will better show us where the colors are. Okay, now we see that it's here and we see that the node is not very aligned with the line up here. So we can use this, the node placement, to change this around to make sure that this matches up perfectly with the line. So now all you have to do is, because we're in the hue tab, we also have a saturation and a brightness one, but if we drag this down, we see the color shifting right now if we go to the saturation tab we can see that we can also increase the saturation here to make it stand out even more and if we go to the brightness we can even lighten it or we can darken it now this probably matches the best with the clip or if we drag it upwards it makes the car stand out even better if you hold control and click this again it's now gone and now you see that we've changed the color of the car so here's the before here's an after and that's the easiest way how to do that in Darktable.